Hello fellow learners and uh, welcome to another session of SBS 335. Um, we're moving uh, right along and we're going to get started with module two of the first unit. I, uh, I don't know if you're enjoying the readings as much as I am. Uh, I think I'm just one step ahead of you with the readings, but I'm, I'm really impressed with what I'm reading and learning quite a bit and, um, and exploring with you uh, all the nuanced um, world of, um, of, um, of online, online life and the planet. The one thing that I want to stress and, and uh, state again that I, I think it's probably the critical point of the introduction is whether or not we can make a distinction between the reality of the virtual world and the real world, that is the, the, the physical world in which we normally interact. I think that's a very interesting, provocative um, concept that we need to grapple with as we explore the different aspects and components of the worldwide uh, web or, or the digital, as we're calling the, this arena that we're exploring. Uh, it's early in the week. I am, uh, I've been reading your, your introductions and your initial statements as to what is it that you're interested in exploring, and, and I'm, I'm actually quite uh, energized and happy because this is what I was hoping to see uh, from you. I've seen some of you like Karina that was amazed with the uh, discovery of the deep web and then uh, Juan coming in with an interesting comment on on um, on the reality of the so-called deep web uh, which we will explore in, in length uh, in the semester and, um, and we're gonna Deconstruct, demidify, and and uh, find out what is what is uh, the big uh, buzz about the web. But um, the readings. Uh, let me move uh, along into what we're going to be doing this uh, for this second module. The the readings of this second module are going to take us to reconsider this whole idea of what is a what is a social network on the internet and what is from the um, anthropological gaze, what is what's relevant of the, um, of the social network uh, world that we're going to be exploring. We're going to go from exploring uh, how liberating it can be for certain groups of people, such as the um, uh, people with disabilities that have been using the internet in such an amazing way, and we're going to see the depth of that in some of the readings and then some of the materials that we're going to be exploring on the internet. And, and then all the way to socializing in, in the digital era and what is that doing to us or what are we doing to those tools uh, and that's, that's a big discussion there. Are we being modified in our behaviors by the new tools and, and, and elements that are out there that we're uh, normally using in our, in our everyday life from texting to um, what they call the poly uh, media systems that we use to communicate. Um, are, are we really being changed or are we modifying those elements to continue doing what we have been doing all along? Uh, so that's, that's where the discussion is. I also would like to keep your toes in the water regarding your research interest. So we're going to go one step ahead. So right now you're telling me what is your interest? What is that that you're fascinated with? What would you like to do research on? But I want to remind you that um, we're approaching this and, and thinking of anthropology as a scientific endeavor. And, and as such, we're going to be um, challenged with identifying testable hypotheses for, for um, to advance our work. So the next step uh, that I expect from you is no longer, no, or not just telling me what do you want to do research on, but now tell me what is that you want to test? What is the hypothesis that you would like to explore? Um, and, and that's a challenge for this week. On, on collaborative learning, I'm going to be assigning to three or four of you with the task of uh, taking a picture or, or uh, taking film on certain behaviors that we normally see out there of us using phones and communicating and whatnot. And then you're going to use 
that you're going to post that picture with certain captioning and then the rest of the group are going to react uh, to that images and captioning. I will explain in de detail the exercise, but it's deeply connected connected to the reading of the um, of the readings assigned on, on social networking and social networks that we have for this week, which corresponds to part three of the of the textbook for this initial um, unit one, number one. I certainly hope that you have the textbook with you because otherwise uh, it's going to be really difficult for you to participate in this second uh, module. Uh, let me know if you're having problems of finding the book and um, I know that I just sent you out on a on a uh, search expedition for it. Uh, it was relatively easy for me to get it through um, Kindle, but not all of you are reading off of, off of tablets, and I do understand that. So I want to be sensitive to that, and I want to work with you and make sure that you're not falling behind because you don't have the materials. All right, so I'm going to continue reading your introductions, but I just wanted to let you know what's coming, on, uh, coming your way. As usual, please read your learning objectives. It is very important for the meta-cognitive uh, process that we need, we're expecting you to engage in. It's not just learning, but understanding why is it that you and need to learn this thing and what is it that you're learning right so learning objectives uh, take a look at that in discovery i'm posting as as i move along with my reading um, materials that you're going to be exploring and um, uh, for example i have this uh, amazing clip uh, from amanda bags and you will read about her in during this module too I'm expecting, as usual, an annotation, and then we have, I don't have it posted here just yet, it's not visible, but we have a cooperative learning um, exercise that we're going to be engaged in this um, for this module. Uh, all right, um, be reminded that we have the um, ask questions here uh, option. I, I check this every day, uh, so I want to make sure that I'm referring to this uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, because my screen is too big, ask your instructor here. So use that if you have any questions, because that's my favorite venue as opposed to the email communication. Uh, so if you have sent uh, to me an email, I might just bounce it back to this box so that everyone can get a response. Of course, if this is a response that had to do with the group, if it's a personal matter or, or a or otherwise, then I will just uh, address that directly with you, as I normally do. Okay, other than that, uh, look forward to continue reading your annotations, your entries, and hopefully we'll have a great uh, session this week. See you around.